Are we are we back? <laughs> yeah. You have to know it's back at clock because your C gear is telling you that it's back at clock. Yeah, it does say 1900 right there. It is 1900. So we are definitely back. Yeah. We are back at clock. Uh, if you're watching the VOD in the year 20... 37. 79? Uh, uh, one, you need to go back 10 years because nice. <laughs> but continue. <laughs> um, we, we do apologize. We... Uh, had a computer crash that abruptly ended last stream. Yeah. Uh, Ian went in and con caught at least the same species as his catches, but... Um, I actually could not, for the life of me, find a, um, du a, the, the duck. A ducklet. A ducklet, so... Yeah, we just took a mulligan and... <laughs> Got another catch of what? No, I didn't even catch no. anything. Just... Okay, just... That's a route you can go get a catch on now. Yeah, uh, no ducks, no ducks here. Oh. What what duck are you talking about? We never had a duck. Okay, the duck is a lie. Um, it's yeah, not like there are a billion water flying Pokemon that you're gonna run into. Yeah, it's in not LA because it's the most common combination of types in the game. I think uh, flying normal has something to say about that, yeah. but yeah, um, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, this is the team. I'm a, my my leveling is a little weird, but that's mostly because I was leveling specifically for clay. Yep. Yeah. Four... Didn't have a whole lot of time between streams. We were yep. busy this week. Yep. Oh man, four gugs pretty close to a level. That's yep. probably not going to uh, come up in anything. Um, I don't think I don't think he changed at all. Uh, uh, Milady uh, got got pedal dance, so. which is dope. Which is dope. Hits like a special truck and uh, probably won't be seen at all today. Um, at the cost of locking we'll you into a move for two or three turns and causing confusion at the end. What? What'd you say, Rusty? If some kind of change does happen to Forgood, I would like to petition to change his name to uh, like uh, Forgood 5 me or 2 Gug for me or uh, something along those lines. Uh, we'll take it into consideration. Um, Fox on a box learned Night Slash, and I gave it to him because, mm, yeah, didn't have a better move. Um, this is the boy, uh, Walk Boot. Walk Boot. Uh, I gave him Bulk Up over Low Kick, just mostly to have Bulk a way to... good move. Yeah, Bulk Up's good. Anytime you can boost two stats that are relevant to this Mon, uh, his attack and defense are where he's good at. He's scary as is after a Bulk Up, he's real scary. Um, and then here's the boy, the special earthquake boy. Prep Nertly. Prep Nertly. No I, earthquake. I overleveled him to no earthquake so that, uh, so that things in... Because Spider-Man meme. Yeah. Uh, so that things in Clay's gym, uh, don't Not so get, scary no yeah, more. Don't get scurry. Um, also, I'm gonna... Where are you at, Ian? I don't, I don't know. Some weird cave. Yeah, it is a weird cave. Uh, we're gonna walk over here, not into the plot. Are you sure? Because there's a dust cloud just right there. There is a dust cloud just it's right just there. It's just right there, Ian. Yeah, come on. I mean, who knows what that is. This is also your potential catch here. I know, I'm well aware. Okay, this should be a normal type Pokemon. It's a Smeargle. Eh, not specifically what I meant, but uh, alright. I say, I have no idea how you knew it was gonna be a normal type. I'm, what I was trying to say is it's a normal Mon, probably not going to be... Like a standard Mon. Yeah, probably not going to be anything crazy. Sure. Now he is using Struggle from here on out. I'm aware of that fact. Because he didn't sketch anything. Yep. That means he takes one quarter of his damage every time he struggles. Oh, that... Yeah. Or of his max HP. One quarter of his max HP every time he struggles. Yeah. Which was what I was trying to warn you of. I didn't think that Rock Smash coming off of 4-Gug would hurt that bad. Uh, We're going to do this because we're in a cave. This ball is probably your strongest ball. There's a reason I bought this balls. So, the Dusk Ball literally cares about your location. Correct. Uh, or... Whether or not it's night. Okay. Okay. It does not care about... It's not 
programmed to the Pokemon that show up in locations. Correct. Right. It's programmed for location. Right. Yes. Or time of day. The only one that does that? To my knowledge. Uh, Dive Ball? Dive Ball. Yeah. Dive Ball. Dive Ball should. Okay. Uh, but I caught a Smeargle, so, uh, and, and finally a female. Hey, my team, my team is very male. Uh, we will continue to not have any females on it. Is what you're saying? Uh, it was heavily applied. You're right. Um, Rusty, give me a letter. Uh, F. Nathan. A. Rusty. M. I. Rusty. Um, let's go with. I don't want to just turn it into family, which is, seems like what Nathan is trying to do here. You can go to a lot of places. You can go to Famitsu. Uh, you can go to family. You can go to Famicom. Uh, there are a lot of things you can do. I kind of wanted to go with family. F A M B I L Y, but we're too late there. Yep. Um, so let's go with B now. Famib something. You. I was I was trying to call out your letter and I was and I had the wrong vowel there. T T and his name has butt in it. Uh, it does, you're right. Okay. So, we got a catch. And I forgot in this gen that catches don't give you, uh... Experience. Experience, so. It's a Shellos. It is Shellos. Would have preferred a Shellos over a Smeargle. A lot kind of things you can do with a Smeargle. Be honest. The possibilities are endless. Except for the possibility of using any of those moves well. Don't do this. It's not possible. If you kill him one level away from retirement... I mean, one level away from evolving. Well, it's just like... Yeah, no, that... that, that the final hurdle? Before... It, it, it's like... You know the test to like this is the this is his bar exam yeah i don't think okay that that is enough it might not be i didn't see a level up there oh it's not enough god damn it like no it's just like That entire fight was my goddamn luck. You know? I had a 10% chance to miss. A 10% chance. To miss with what? Rock slide. That was it. And then, fine, cool, whatever, we'll switch out. Wasn't enough fucking EXP to, to even level up. God damn it. Hold oh, on. you asked me the other day to yeah. uh, make a new command. I need to I need to do that real quick. Hello. Hey. Hello? Yeah. Uh, 
All right, so I'm gonna vamp for chat. How's everybody okay. doing? Anybody uh, have a good okay. weekend? Yep. Okay. Three days ago. Time, time sure is something, huh? Yes. I can't keep track of it in these, yeah. in these times. We're we're all experiencing together. So uh, right now I'm making a command. I made one to uh, just now. Uh, I'm not going to put it in there because I don't want to scare Nathan Ian, but it's uh, press uh, G to mourn uh, because we were doing that press F to mourn meme early on in our channel's life. And I mispressed G and they decided that that's what our channel does. Uh, so now we've got a press G to, to uh, mourn command. Uh, and I'm making another one right now uh, that I will use in just a minute. That's uh, luck. It's going to explain that uh, it is well known that streamer Ian has the worst luck ever when it comes to Pokemon games. Firm that command. Now you guys have this command available. So we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Should show up on stream real quick here. Yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Sorry about that. We are <laughs> you. God damn it! You made a luck command. Yeah, we are back. Sorry about that. Had to had to take a phone call there. So yeah. But we are back, and now we shall try this again. Ian? Yes. Are you aware that you're now playing Overlaps the chat window? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. That's just something we've kind of dealt with, and that was a decision that I made. Okay. Yep. But yeah, no, I, uh, thank you for making that, uh, look command there. Thank you for that. I also made another one that I hope we won't have to use today. Oh, okay. 
Well, that's... That's only a little terrifying. I would love to rename this bot, uh, but it costs us money every month to upgrade to you can beat this one? Dream Labs to make your own bot. I just figured we we uh, we could probably use Nightbot or something, but yeah, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about paying for something if I don't we set up Nightbot. But we could also make our own bot that had its own name to do these messages instead of just Streamlabs. Yep. Um, but, like I said, it costs money to to make your own bot. What? What? Four Four guys guys evolving. Evolving. Oh. What's it going to turn into? Oh, I forgot how weird the evolution animation was in this game. Yeah, I did too. This is also the horrifying. First... This is also the first evolution we've seen on this, uh... Is it the first evolution we've seen on stream? I think so, on this specific stream. Oh, there he is. All of that. Oh, God. Look at all those gugs. There's so many of them. There's four of them. <laughs> oh. Let's look at it again. But more. Oh, look at those gugs. That's a lot of gug. There's a lot of them. Oh, that's such a big honking schnoz. It's so big. They said, "Is that the gug?" That is. Is that what a gug is? Is the is the schnoz? Yes. He has now achieved four gugs. I like how in his little menu animation. His nose is completely stationary, and it's the little hat and the mini noses that are moving around. I mean, some people can't can't uh, make their nose do things. I can't like, yeah, I can't do it. I can't make my nose, you know. I would like to know what the design process was for <laughs> for uh, nose pass and probo pass. Yeah. yeah. It's actually like, uh, fascinating, and I can send you an article on it. Well, the easy answer is they said, is is they uh, made uh, a nose pass and said, you know what? What we don't have enough here, nose. Hand me my phone. Uh, nose pass pretty obviously is uh, based off of the uh, Maui heads on Easter Island, uh, and Probo Pass is based on what those Easter Island heads originally looked like. Back in the day, they had hats. Oh. It also is like, it's a compass. Um, and based on like magnetism and things like that. Um, so, yeah. But uh, Bulbapedia has uh, a uh, series of articles called On the Origin of Species uh, where it goes into some of the histories of Pokemon like that. Alright, so yeah, now we're gonna go... I should... <sighs> two steps. I took two steps. And this mold is like, ah, I'm gonna fucking fight you. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Anyway, continue. Those are Molgas. They're, they're scrappy. They want to fucking fight. But yeah, I interrupted you there. I'm sorry. Um, but as you know, uh, Nose Pass was introduced in Generation 3, and it was given the Evolution Probo Pass in Generation 4. I hadn't fought this person yet. No, this is a breeder, isn't it? And those breeders will fight yeah. you every time you walk by them. No, I caught my mistake, Nathan. Yeah, we're just gonna kill a kill a rat real quick. Oh no, I fell in love with the Pokemon that I killed in one shot. Whatever shall we do? Actually, I will go ahead and switch here because I don't want to... I don't remember. Deerling doesn't change types when it changes forms, nope, right? Nope, just... Nope. Just Fairly aesthetic. cosmetic. Yeah. No. Now, it is summer now. Um... We started this runoff in winter, and it's now summer. 
It's fine. The uh, seasons don't actually keep up in real time seasons. It's a different season every month. Yeah. Right. What Which has frightening implications as to how the Pokemon world works. Yeah, we know, we know time shenanigans in the Pokemon world are, world are weird. Okay, um, it appears that I cannot post the link into the chat, uh, so I'm going to post it in the Discord and hope that somebody else posts it in the chat. Are you not uh, a moderator? I am, uh, but I. He was trying to do it on mobile, I think. Yeah, um, I actually had reason. to delete my dis my uh, Twitch app uh, because I didn't have enough room on my phone. I'm going to trust that somebody else can post that in the chat. And by somebody, he he's talking about Rusty. I will do it. Okay. All right, let's go and heal up. And then, so, yes, we have a four, uh, a four Gug now. He is. Yeah, you made him weaker to ground type moves. Good job. Yeah, yeah. Or, uh... I don't know what you posted there, Rusty, but that's a link to our Discord. Whoops. And they shouldn't be able to access because they have, because we have to grant permission. Again, we have one of our followers that wants permission into our Discord. It is a private Discord for now. We might get around eventually. Oh, do I have to fight you? There's only one way to find out. I don't want to fight you. There we go. Okay, cool. Just giving you advice. I just didn't want to fuck. He's the guy that stands in front of the gym to give you advice. He's not Mr. Yo Champ in the making. He's hashtag not my Yo Champ in the making guy. Why can't I delete that message? Good question. You might have to go into mod view to do it. I am in mod view. Oh, then I don't know. Thanks. You got a freeish water. Yeah. I can delete messages that aren't my own. It's all right. We ain't that how it be though. I did the speedrunner strat there. I went up and talked to him to save the walking animation. I knew you could do it. I'm a good thinkersman. Bell toy. He gonna die. It's ground type. Mm -hmm. He gonna die. I'm, I am coming in with a fully evolved Pagadium. That is kind of mean to... Quay's awesome! Thanks. Thanks for the... North or south? North or south? I'm going south. Uh, 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 Wombo. Combo. Happy feet. That ain't Falco. That ain't Falco. Get your ass whooped. I like the little shing off of his Traverius. What? That's his his name. name is Tavarius. Oh. I straight up didn't look. That's rad. Are these all just nameless drones to you, Ian? They give you their name and everything so you can, like, introduce yourself and have, like, a friendly Pokemon battle. 
Oh my god. The one in, uh... I need a pet so I can name it to various. <laughs> I can tell you that the one in uh, Sword and Shield that's under uh, Opal, his name is Annette. Not Annetta. Oh shit, am I wrong? <laughs> oh shit, I'm wrong. Are you? Are you? Hmm? I thought it was Annette, but... <laughs> I don't know. I know. I don't know. Which one is it? Mm -hmm. It's one of those two. <laughs> I don't know. Probably. I've planted the seed of doubt in your mind, have I? Yeah, no, I'm I'm questioning everything I know. Uh, Sandile's not dark type yet, is he? Sandile is dark. Okay. I couldn't remember if he got it. Oh yeah, the the pa uh, the Patreon uh, Poco Link. That's, that's that's our tracker there on the that's right. That's the tracker. It's a uh, pretty cool it tracks in real time. Give it, them several dollars. And Jen's one and three through seven. Always working on the other ones. Uh, they're dope people. Uh, give the money if you have extra money to give. If not, there's a free version. Now, Tavarius is a cool name. It is. Almost as cool as De Bongles. Yeah. Let's not get ahead of ourselves now. I'm not saying that. I was saying that specifically that I think Tavarius is a cooler name than De Bongles, even though I love my boy De Bong. I'm not specifically looking for where the right way to go is. I'm just, just I'm just full clearing. You want to make sure you get everybody to get that sweet, 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 sweet EXP? Yeah. See, I like the little sheen. The little sheen. Yeah. The little sheen. Yeah, that. Oh no. Oh no. You know, if I didn't know any better, it's like they didn't design you to have this game so that you had a game at this point. I don't know what you're talking about, Nathan. A Meganium that knows pedal dance? Does Meganium just get pedal dance when it levels up now? Yeah. Uh, 32? Or when this it game. evolves? Yeah, I got it. I got it at 32. That seems real early. That's really good. This, this hits hard. But, again, it does lock you into the move, and you do get uh, confused uh, for two to three turns. After two to three turns. After two to three turns. Um, so it's definitely a high-risk, high-reward move. Uh, and it's it especially dangerous weird. in a Nuzla. Um, but especially since you got it so early, I would say that that power boost is definitely worth the risk. I ain't screwed. And also to switch out of confusion. You can switch out. Um, which is, you know, pretty nice. But. I. It's not that there are no risks involved. I ain't screwed. Now, if memory serves, you can talk to those little yellow boxes to move the elevator up and down. Yeah, no, I'm just. Let's say I'm not advocating that you necessarily do that yet, but. Yeah. That one goes underneath. I didn't notice that. That's because Clay is the underground boss. Which is weird because Giovanni was already a gym leader. Again, at this point, I'm just trying to, you know, full clear all of yeah. these. Clay is the T Boone Pickens of uh, gym leader. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm not going to tell you who T-Boone Pickens is, 
but I'm just gonna tell you to go Google T Boone Pickens Drake tweet. It is a fantastic tweet. Like from old Twitter, like might have happened in like <laughs> to be fair, even he's involved, it is old Twitter. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, it's it's something good. You should you should go check out. Oh yeah, I've seen this one. For the people that are like, I'm not gonna go Google that. Uh, Drake tweeted out something like, I. Uh, the first million's always the hardest. Uh, and t Boone Pickens reply says, The first billion's a hell of a lot harder. Which is a flex. Not specifically saying that I like t Boone or anything, but it's a hell of a flex, man. It's like, right? He passed away, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you remember him dying, like, last year or something like that. It was yeah. recently. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you, uh, he died before this football season. Yeah. That's kind of how I remembered it. That was pretty recent. Yeah, it was, it was within the last... I think it might have been, like, beginning of 2020, uh, late I'm, 2019. I almost think it was last year. Yeah. Yeah, it was not long at all. I'll look. Eh. It's T Boone Pickens. I'm not really worried about crediting. I need to know in case he uh, raises from the dead. Uh, September 11, 2019. So. Told you kind of late 20, getting into late 2019. Yep. Which was like right before the season kicked off. Hell, they might have, depending on the actual date, they might have already kicked. Like, they might have already had a game. Maybe. I think I already did this one. Nope. Hey, it's Clay. Hi, Clay. Not yet. Not yet. Are you going to beat him? I plan on it. I don't know. He's got money. He does have money. There you go. Hey, it's a boy. Figured there was one there. There was a suspiciously empty spot there. Yeah. Maynard. Again, not the coolest name. But it's a very American name. I mean, I guess. Maynard is the name of the front man of one of my favorite bands. Does he moonlight as a guy in a underground mine that's also a Pokemon, Pokemon gym? gym? No. Why? Why? What did Steve have to do with any of that? Touch that yellow thing. I'm not, I meant to. I think that just takes it back to the entrance. 
Press the switch on the elevator. Oh no, it just lets you into a perfect circle. Yeah. Particularly their covers. They have a whole album of covers that's just uh, great. Uh, we are listening to uh, Big Giant Circles right now. Not a perfect. He said uh, a perfect circle, uh, not Big Giant Circles. A, a perfect circle is different than Big Giant Circles. I could have sworn I heard you say Big Giant Circles. That's circle. the tool guy, right? It is the tool guy. Maynard James Keenan. Does he go by, like, all three names? It mostly goes by Maynard or the tool guy. Good. Just saying. People that go by three names, if they're not British. Gonna be honest, I hear one of his songs and I don't know which band it belongs to. Oh, Tool's definitely more um, industrial, but his voice is, is particularly... Um, yeah, he's got a very distinctive voice. A uh, distinctive, yeah. I know he's not uh, steel yet, but that's fine. He still gets slapped. Tool is definitely one of those bands that I respect because they influenced a lot of music that I do like, but I don't particularly feel one way or the other about the band. Yeah. Like the Beatles? Yeah. Yeah. For for me, I think I view Tool more positively than the Beatles. For me, uh, oh, you yeah. be careful about who you say that to. Yeah, them fighting words in some circles. Uh, I kind of feel the same way about uh, about Green Day. Like I don't necessarily like a lot of their music, but again, I understand and respect what they mean to. Uh, to angsty teens? Well, to angsty teens, but also to most of, like, the bands that I like, or a lot of the, you know, rock rock music that I like. You know, they are. Yeah, they, they're one of those that has uh, inspired a lot, and, uh, no, and really important counterculture icons for uh, yeah. a time. Yeah. And so, like, I... I fully respect what they mean to, you know, music and the counterculture scene, which I tend to support a lot of, a lot of aspects of. Um, but, again, I'm a little indifferent on them. Like... Personally. Yeah. Lindsay Ellis has a pretty good video about uh, how they're more or less the, the most iconic counterculture band of the Bush era wars. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and I absolutely, you know, respect, respect the hell out of them for what they have done. But that and, and for that particular uh, counter Bush culture mm -hmm. era Right. It's a good. It's a good thing to be counter to. Yeah. Like. You would think. I don't know. Talk to me, like. Uh, and, and the crux of the video was right or wrong. She thinks it's like the the piece of anti-Bush kind of counterculture that uh, has the most staying power. Have has the most staying power. Um, Even if it's not necessarily. Like the like quote unquote high art. Yeah. Um, then she kind of compares it to uh, "Fortunate Son" by uh, CCR. Yeah. I can definitely see that. I don't think I want to go here. Gonna go up. I don't know. I'm. I am a little fucking lost. But that's okay. Which, isn't it a, a little bit sad that American Idiot is is the Bush era's version of uh, Fortunate Son? Yeah, because Fortunate Son slaps like no other, and American Idiot is... It's fine. 
Well, she also talks about like how uh, a lot of it, a lot of the staying power comes from the fact that it's not. Thank you for telling me that I have nice evolved Pokemon. Yeah. I, I think I do too. I can't see who that is. Uh, no, I can't read from here either. Yeah. My eyes ain't that good. Yeah, my eyes, my eyes be very bad. Geostellar. Oh. Oh. Hello, Geostellar. Yeah. Yeah, that blue that it selected is real rough, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's... it's... Well, we're also looking at it through OBS, and it's, it's not yeah. very big. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna change, right. change that. I wouldn't worry. They just go by Geo. Yeah. Yeah, handlebars is. Uh... I remember when that song was played everywhere, well, and I hated it. Okay, so that that song, um, I remember it very vividly as well. Yeah. So that was when we were in the middle of transitioning from moving to Tulsa to moving to Tahlequah. Yep. Yeah. Because they were playing it like when we were renovating the house all yeah, the time. Yeah. Like I have, like, Geo, we remember you, or at yeah. least I do. Yeah, yeah. we do. Um, uh, yeah. Like I just literally yeah. like the, like the the screen I have that shows that shows chat is kind of small and yeah. hard to. Well, we're looking at yeah. the the display on stream through OBS, and so it's it's very small. Yeah. So. So, no, that's just... It's very small, and my eyes are terrible, god-awful. Just We do damn. have the horrible glasses. Uh, can you tell the, me who The weird thing with? about streaming is that we do not actually have the ability to see exactly what we are displaying to you in, in the way that you can see it. Yeah. yeah. That's just how OBS works. No, we didn't forget about you. I just literally couldn't read read the, the name that said Geostellar there. Um, but I, I just trying to, f uh, Nathan is Googling who, uh, Clay starts with for me. I think it's, n I it think it's last time, but I forget. Yeah. Cause, cause we were, uh, while you're doing that though, I'm just gonna, for no reason at all. To do a quick safety save. Yeah, just gonna do a little savey save. Save the game. Yeah, but you you came into kind of a in, interesting uh, uh, Crocker Rock Sand slash Excadrill. I I tend to mostly do randomizers, but that's because because I, I find them really interesting. Yep. Uh, Crocker Rock is who he starts with. Yep. Okay. Then we will slap a boy. Yeah. I think I think the way it works is unless you pick a color, it randomizes the color that it's going to show up for everybody. Yeah. Well, he's he's talking about the fact that uh, that that when it, when it's typically me on stream, it's almost always a randomizer. Uh, oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I tend to mostly do uh, randomizers again. I find it really interesting, um, mostly because I have what I'm doing on stream is I am playing the game in the gen that I haven't played before. Yeah. Um, and that's why he's only randomized encounters now, right. um, is because he's never gone all the way through Black Two. Right. Um, he does. He's he's not in that. He's not against uh, randomizing opponents either. Yeah. Um, but a lot of times, like a lot of the games that I've played, I have played a lot, and so I just kind of, and I've just done a lot of Nuzlocks in my life, especially, and so I just really am trying to find the most creative way to use different and new Pokemon. And so, I think the randomizer helps uh, yeah. helps with that a lot. And the, and the randomizer we use uh, gives you the option to randomize just yours or opponents. Yeah. Too. So. I like randomizers for that fact. <laughs> You're gonna smack my bitch up. Yeah, no. Uh, the, the randomizer uh, settings that I've done... Uh, are for um, are for just wild Pokemon. I haven't randomized uh, the actual um, trainers. 
Sand Slash. Um, and again, that's because I haven't actually played through Black and White 2. Um, I played Ooh. Black, uh, played both Black and White lots of times, but I haven't actually played through the second one. So I want to experience, you know, the the game as it were, just with a little bit a little bit of difference. Yeah, yeah, I think I think he did slap them with concrete. I'm pretty sure that's how that worked. I've always thought that wake up slap is one of the more hilarious moves. Wake up. Uh, is sorry. Make up. Put on a little makeup. You wanted to. Uh, Why did you leave the keys upon the table? You wanted to. And it is time for the Spider-Man meme. And I am only a little... I don't think you trust in me. Or my. Self-righteous suicide? I cry. Angels deserve to die? My favorite part of that music video is just when he's kind of chewing. (laughs) <laughs> just like there, there's a point where he's just kind of like I really like that part and so we are fine did I absolutely over level prep nerdly probably probably but uh I wanted earthquake yeah. so uh yeah wake up slap actually has yeah. decent base power it's like 70 570-ish. Like 65, 70, somewhere in there. It's definitely more than 70. Uh, it's definitely at least 70. Yeah. Um, but it, it's a decent, like, primary stab. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, it does, like, double damage if they're asleep. So, yeah, it's it's a surprisingly viable move. You'll, I don't think you'll ever see it on a competitive team, but... You got a quick badge. I did. It's kind of like smelling salts, where it just does double damage if they have the status, um, but it still does damage no matter what. Mm-hmm. And now you got bulldoze. Yeah. You could teach that to your uh, Excadrill. I could. I like that the shortcut is just he's like, all right, I'll take you back up. Which does not explain how it gets to here. Yeah. Oh, hey, this is the gin where acrobatics is absolutely nuts so busted, isn't it? Well, oh, yeah. It is. So this is again. Uh, this is the gen that the that they introduced the type gems. Uh, so the flying gem, which they up. immediately took everyone away except the normal gem. Yeah. Yeah. They they said, "Oh no, we fucked up." Um. You get your crowbat, a flying gem, and acrobatics, and it's gonna one shot almost anything. Yeah, because the flying the flying gem just boosts it. Well, in a way, it's almost like a, a proto Z move. A little bit. Um, where it's just it's good for that one turn, and it gives up your item slot. Yeah, but because ac- because of how acrobatics work. Yeah. So that that one acrobatics is incredibly powerful, and the ones after that are still powerful, uh, but not nearly as not much. as powerful as that original one. Yeah. So it, it almost works like a proto Z move. Yeah. And the, and then they then they realize, oh, maybe these are a little a little broken. Thank you. I have won every fight we've had. really trying to make me cry over a purloin. Yep. I remember this is back before we knew what we know now about purloin. Listen, I always knew purloin sucked. <laughs> Bipedal or quadruped. <laughs> Be damned. Well, like, the gems exist in the code of the Gen 6 games, and I think in every game since. Yeah. Uh, but they just haven't introduced them. Except yeah. the normal gem. Normal gem still exists. Yeah, Pokemon puts in 
like a stupid amount of stuff in the code that is never used. Well, it's just it's more they don't delete it. Yeah. Yeah, the Gen One games had uh, HM items. Uh, so that you wouldn't have to use the moves um, that exist in the game's code. Yeah. Well, and it's not even the it's not the family dog, like it's not even that, like, like it's. Objectively, a terrible thing that that little girl's cat got stolen, but it's a purloin. Go catch another one. There's 40 right there. Like, yeah, like it's just like it's a purloin, man. Again. It's sad. Yeah. I, I get Ian, it. Ian, Ian, we we argued with you. I'm on Geo's side here. No, I understand that I'm. I, or, I understand that I'm the dick here. Like I, I understand that. But it's just like, man, it's a purloin. Like, well, I'm gonna avoid spoilers because you haven't played the game. Uh, but I know we find the purloin. It's a Lipard used by one of the, I think one of the admins or something. I know this doesn't have admins, but I I understand that this that this comes full circle. I'm not an idiot. Well, just what I find hilarious, it's actually. Can you hear us now? I think we bumped something on the mic. We may have bumped the mic. Um, um, but uh, I, mean, I just find it hilarious that uh, this Route 1 purloin with arbitrary IVs uh, made its way up the ranks of Team Plasma to the highest level. And, it uh, may have been like Joey's Rattata. It was the top 1% of all Rattatas. Yeah, but... A top percentage Rattata is still a Rattata, Rusty. Yeah. Like, like... This elite warrior decided, no, I want to use this random purloin. Like, that's the part of it that always uh, got me. Yeah, I, I, knew, I knew... I could not completely understand if some random grunt got it. Um, but no, it's literally made its level to the most powerful positions in Team Plasma. Okay, I was not paying attention at all. What am I doing here? Uh, you are participating in the Pokemon World Tournament. Oh, shit. Alright, cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, remember, if, if the... Uh, if it doesn't give EXP, it doesn't count. Towards. I think it does. Oh well. I think this specific battle does, or set of battles does. Okay. Um, I think anything beyond that uh, does not. No. Hold on. I can't not bring him. I believe you're only allowed three Pokemon, so yeah. be careful. What I'm telling you is, if I lose here, then shut up. So, I wonder who the important characters are. Who, who the important characters are here. I wonder who's got the anime here. I don't hate cats! Geo. 
You want to give that uh, command a try? No! No, fuck you! Y'all? Rusty really likes that he can just add those commands like that. Yeah, I know! <laughs> I really do. And keep my name out your damn mouth. I don't hate cats. I like how this animation implies that this is a cage match. Oh, it super does. Oh, this actually isn't great for your boy. You are quad weak to fighting moves. Not that he's using a fighting move. He is using something quad resistant. Well, nobody accused him being of a good trainer. <laughs> so I don't miss. Oof. But yeah, no, I I had to, had to use the boy here. Ooh. No, I did not. I did not uh, get a uh, ESP there. You lied to me. I was misremembering. So you're uh, guaranteed to survive uh, this fight, and you can do whatever. Yeah. It's still gonna win because. I was gonna say if you lose, that means you have to do it again. Though. Yeah. Because I want to actually like continue with the game. Uh, but this is definitely something that I wish. That I wish had stayed is the Pokemon World Tournament. I think that this is a fantastic idea. You can kind of see some like echoes of it in the yeah. Galarian Star Tournament. Yeah. I also like the right. Uh, it's set. Um, I li I like the way the tree is set up in. Uh, and yeah, yeah, they in the battle tree in. Uh, Hold on. I I'm sorry that I interrupted you, but that was a resisted pedal dance. <laughs> Did that? Yeah, much. you also have most of ten levels. On yeah. Them. But yeah, you you were talking about the battle tree before I interrupted Did you so rudely? Yeah, there? Uh, a lot of like returning trainers show up in the battle tree. There are some returning trainers that show up in the battle resort in Oras. Uh, so th th there are elements of it that they've kind of yeah. kept throughout the series, but uh, nothing to the extent of the Pokemon World Tournament has happened. Uh, and I think that's kind of the what a lot of what they based the uh, the mobile game uh, Pokemon Masters on. Yeah. I know that we're never going to get it. Like, I understand that because Masters is a thing, we're not actually going to get... Uh, also, this is terrible seeding. Uh, the fact that me and my uh, rival were seated here. Well, they, they put you against an important trainer in every fight. I know. But I'm saying that's not, not how tournament seeding would work. Um, but I what I want is I want a... Um, I, is I want another DLC for uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield that is literally like the World Cup that is um, that is the Pokemon World Tournament but with a different skin based off of the sports soccer theme that uh, that um, you get in uh, Sword and Shield. It's just just the Sword and Shield thing but with more trainers in it. Yeah, like in the whatever twenty or so that you have. Yeah, like. Like, it's it's a, you know, tournament system. You know, they've they've got groups, and you play, and then you round robin in that group for seeding going on, uh, going further. You know. You could do something like that there. Well, it like, means that, like, you'd have to bring back some trainers without their iconic Pokemon, then. No. Because not every Pokemon is in... Well, yeah, trainer. I guess. Um, you know, like... Ilma without their gum shoes or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, it doesn't have to be every single trainer ever, but, you know. I feel like if they were going to do the work to uh, to add more at this point, that they would want to do the work to add the majority, if not all, of the other trainers. Uh, of, of all the other iconic trainers. Yeah. 
Like I said, I don't think you're ever going to see something like that. Yeah, it's, it's, never, it's never going to happen. Pokemon with, Masters with, exists. With Masters existing like that, yeah, no. Also, they're pretty much just done with uh, Sword and Shield, I think. Yeah, I, I don't see them doing anything beyond the raid events. Yeah, yeah, I think. Maybe a distribution or two. Yeah. Oh, that's not going to feel good. No, that's going to be quad uh, super effective. Can you tell that Sharon's the normal gym leader? Yeah, no, I can, uh, I can tell. Say shit to Meganium. See what Meganium says. You have two steel types and you brought both of them. I did bring both of them. I brought my starter and my two strongest Pokemon. That did more damage than it needed. You certainly brought your two highest level Pokemon. I'm not 100% sure you brought your two strongest Pokemon. Meganium says fuck off. It, it has everything you need for it, Tim. Steel types and a dark type. Okay, not sure I get the joke there, but maybe he's thinking that uh, Zoroark is hiding out as a uh, Meganium. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, in this tournament, you're only allowed. It, it's a. Uh, yeah. Uh, you're only allowed to bring three Pokemon. Yeah. So the only uh, Pokemon that I've got right now are uh, are uh, Probopass, Excadrill, and Meganium. But luckily, you're going to fight another Steel Trainer, so there you go. Oh, is that why you didn't try out that new command? Yeah. Uh, Geo, I made a, a new command. It goes like this. You, you don't have to do it. Do it. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Colress. <laughs> Magneton, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me! Actually, if both of you have Magnet Pull, then you can switch out. Shut up. Double trapping can't happen. Your mom can't happen. Come on, just lower his goddamn defense. What does Magneton have? Does he have just Magnet Pole? Uh, could be Magnet Pole or Sturdy. So, if it has Sturdy, uh, then uh, it cannot switch out. But if it has magnet pull, you both can switch out because if two magnet pulls are on this uh, on opposite sides, then you can both switch out. Doesn't the game doesn't allow you to double trap like that? They may have added that in Gen Six. I forget. Okay, I was wrong. Are you sure you're magnet pull? Unless it changed when he evolved. Because I think his possible abilities are Magnet Pull, Sturdy, and uh, Sand Force. If memory serves. Yep, no, you're Magnet Pull. Okay, maybe it's the, uh, in Gen 6 they made it so that you guys can both switch out. But I, th I think it's to help uh, avoid uh, endless battles. Okay. You have done your job. Time for the big boys. 
careful, Ian. Now its electric moves are more powerful. Yes, I am. I am very worried about, uh... And its special defense is boosted. Oh. You don't stand a chance! Oh, no! He boosted his special defense. He looked at... That's not a steel type. That's not a steel type. Does he have levitate? Uh, I don't believe its abilities include levitate. Not really worried if about. If memory it. serves analytic is the hidden ability. I wasn't really worried about. I know analytic is it. one of its hit abilities. It may be telepathy is the hidden ability. I forget. I I don't remember. Were you worried, Nathan? I did it. No. I did. I did say he was a steel specialist. Most of his po Pokemon are steel types, but I think one or two are not. You're saying he was blinded by science? She blinded me with science. Sup, Proxy. Gonna rock the audience right out of their seats. Uh, normal abilities are telepathy and synchronize. Hidden abilities, analytic. I can't help thinking of oh, the yeah, it's about to happen. content. She blinded me with library science t-shirt. Whenever I hear that phrase, I can't help but think of like that that kind of cool like riff that happens after he says that. They said like, "Wanna wanna science." Is, is he gonna say it, Nathan? He's about to. Oh, come on, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Here. I need to get to this. It is. I cannot. Stress to you, game, how important it There's is. There's a leash, and it has got so much strain on it, Ian. <laughs> that leash is fraying. Yeah, I'm gonna say I knew that. <laughs> I'm gonna say I knew that was there. PP up. It's, uh. Brett here all of a sudden? <laughs> just sworn I heard. What is it with boats? It's about to have happen. The ship. ship. Why is it so cold? And. I should be. <laughs> Why should you care? You guys. See? You're surrounded. Dude, I throw out Prep and Hurtley and say earthquake. Things, bad things happen to everything here. I think you're gonna need more backup. Hey, just to let you know. Nathan? Just to let you know. Nathan? I'm about to unleash my rage! I'm about to unleash my rage! Uh, the leash is snapped. The rage is flying. <laughs> oh. Don't worry. Actually, I'm a little worried. 
Please don't try to explode. Why do you care? You're a steel type. You are totally a steel type. 100% steel type right in front of you. Oh! Would you look at that? I might not have led with the with the best Pokemon in the front spot for this. I'm not gonna lie to you. My question is, yeah. why did he use a steel move against a steel type? Nathan, it's probably this, fine. This is Team Plasma we're talking but, about. To be fair, Gyro Ball may have been its only move that could hit. A steel if type. knew all poison moves besides that. Go! Prep Nerdly! Do you think he's gonna fall for it? Do you think he's gonna go report uh, this um, extra drill using Snarl to uh, to the guys? To the next guy? Yeah. Well, it's like everybody's crowded around. They can see what happened. Well, no, I was gonna say, is he gonna make a report to, uh, to Showdown about... Uh, about this oh, extra yeah. drill using snarl. It wouldn't be the first. The the jo the running joke is uh, um, that I, I used to hang out in the uh, bug reporting thread on uh, Pokemon Showdown, and people would report like Pokemon knowing illegal moves all the time, uh, and we're like, was it a Zoroark? And they go, oh, yep. Yeah, you got to be careful so when you're disguising you as a steel type like that. He's right. You yeah. have trolls in the bug reporting uh, group that just report every time they run into a bug type. Y you know, it's kind of hard to find that bug reporting thread, so uh, I don't think anybody really took the time. Okay. I thought you two. Hey, I ran into a bee drill. <laughs> hey, I ran into a butterfree. Hey, I ran into a caterpie. <laughs> like, is did did they make the make a show up of this much force and then I only get two fights out of this? Is that really it? I think you have to talk to your friends. How you doing, bud? You doing? It's a double battle. I could, you're right. But G Geo is really adamant about that you can just leave right now. It's the pacifist way, you know, you don't have to get into a fight, you can just leave. Or I could kill some bitches. You do have a lot of poison types you could fight. I'll admit, this portion of the game was cooler in the animated uh, trailer they did. Oh, I know we haven't gotten to the cool part of the game yet. Ah, cool. Huh. Well, it's probably... <laughs> Nobody accused Team Plasma of being smart, bud. <laughs> oh no! That did so much damage to me. DeBongles really cared about that air cutter. And gosh, he's got some food. Yeah, just got like a. Oh. Um, just gotta get a little bit of. Um. Just gotta get some of that. Um. Mm. Yep. Oh, you're both strengthening. Spider-Man meme. I thought I was going to strike that light part. Guess not. No. You gotta punch that goo. Gross. Why Mud Bomb, bud? It may be the only move he's got. It, no Sludge Bomb. He used it. 
then he used it to lower your whatever it lowers. It, it, I think accuracy. Like, and it didn't even do that. Like... I like Geo's spelling of debongles since they can't use the happy face. Makes it look really French. Debongles. 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 Gotta have some phlegm in there if it's gonna be French. Yeah, the French are... The French like their phlegm. I'm the Smith Fleming. <laughs> yeah, Nuzlockers are just extra. That, that's a hotly contested uh, topic in the uh, the Nuzlocke world. I remember reading the threads on that. <laughs> yeah, Nuzlockers are just extra. <laughs> Oh no, my Pokemon! Hip out Narkton, okay? Gotta. I, I do not think that boy wants help. I'm not gonna lie to you. That I'm boy is. You, Chief. That boy is like foaming at the mouth. Dude, he just well, faded. He's that, fine. Uh, you're in, when you're Nuzlocking, your Pokemon is just asleep. You just believe it's dead. <laughs> like the reverse bad man from College Humor. <laughs> oh no, Nathan. They sent out two poison types. Well, Ian, you're fucked. I, I guess I don't get the takedown there, man. He almost took it down. Just, just use flame charge. God, Forgug wanted that config dead. <laughs> Said you, stupid gas balloon. Time to die. You must die. You must die. And that's why you don't take down, kids. I mean, to be fair, who's been at the game longer than Jesse and James? They've been doing this for, like, what, 20 years now? You're not exactly going to come at them with anything they ain't seen before. Actually, it's not bad that he kills the, uh... Alright, man. <laughs> it's not bad that he kills that there, because, uh... That means this turn there's no spread modifier? I do not like this. They got rats, man. Well, they've got super finging rats right now. Oh, no. I got sucker punched. It's like a little balloon. But full of smoke instead of, you know, helium. It's a little fuck-off balloon. Alright, four gug was done. <laughs> Four Gug was over this fight. He's Four Gug, and they're forgotten. How did you know that name? Because you fought him two years ago. So, but... You just got got up by ninjas. Yeah, we did. Ah, he said. Also, rip headphones, users. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Chirin was, like, kind of close to when, uh, 
when the player character kicked uh, all of Team Plasma's ass last time. He was close to that. Because the Shadow Triad has better stuff to do than to steal. No, and so the Shadow Triad didn't weren't the ones that stole the. Uh, um... Yeah, a random pl Team Plasma grunt stole the purloin. Mm -hmm. um, but it was uh, it made its way up through the ranks, and now they they have it for some reason. Yeah. Okay. So, I might have done the thing where I didn't read any of the things that they said. Where am I going next? Am I good? You need to go through Charged Stone Cave next. Okay, cool. Just making sure I'm good to actually, like... I don't have any more plot to do in this city. Memory serves you, though. Good. I'm all plot out. I will be right back. I miss you already. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying that, like, trying to steal, like, my Pokemon was not a good idea for, like, the grunts, but the Shadow Triad's like, fuck these kids, I don't, I want to... I mean, yeah, to be fair, the Shadow Triad, like, have, like, like if, Pokemon in the 40s, they don't care about yours. Yeah, like, objectively, if I were to fight the Shadow Triad right now, I would lose. And they're the ones that do the Vulcan nerve pinch to yeah. move you around. Yeah. Eat that rat. Oh, I will. Don't worry about it. I'm going to fork up all over this rat. So, how... What does it look like when Forgug dodges an attack like that? How does... How does that work, logistically, you think? Well, I imagine that Forgug kind of levitates around using electromagnetism, mm -hmm. so it can kind of zoom around whatever, however it wants. Fair. How does it avoid sing? Plugs its ears with the little... <laughs> do the, do the little... Uh, do the little... No, uh, I mean, to be fair, it doesn't have ears. I mean... <laughs> that's a good answer! Good answer! Almost swooshed you there. So did it almost do that to me? <laughs> if I lost for Gug to this deerling, I would end stream. <laughs> also, so like, it is Sharon, 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 whatever his name is. He's right there. Yeah. Uh, does he, like, actually, you know, like, report what's happening to his higher-ups, you know, the other gym leaders and the champion and the E4? I assume that's how that hierarchy works. I don't know. Hey, you can surf. Hey, that's cool. You can teach it to, you know, you give it to, mm. make sure you, you teach it to, you know, just get, pop it over on a... Yeah. I'll make sure to give it to, you know... Yeah, just make sure that it, it winds up on, uh, you know... Yeah. 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 Which is weird, because normally, like, I have been super water heavy in all for a run in all of the runs that I've done. That makes sense. Water is one of the most common types. Cabra. I haven't fought this one, but I've fought the other two. Cabra. Because randomizer, this is not the. F what I'm telling you is this is not the first legendary that uh, that I've seen. Well, that was rude. Literally, his name is Rude.
I was muted. Ha ha! Thanks, Rusty. Someone's gonna laugh at his stupid ass jokes, and it's not I gonna always be know me. you have. I, I, you, I have you in my corner. Oh yeah, like I'm not in your corner. Like I wouldn't literally give you a kidney at the drop of a hat. I'm just not gonna laugh at your stupid jokes. And yet one hurts me more than any other. Yeah, did we also, ever... It's not real easy to give away. You have two of them. Yeah, Ian. It's just an organ. No big deal. I mean, of the organs you could donate, it's an internal kidney that's semi-redundant. Oh, is this is this where she gives me the thing? Oh, it's not. Nope. She just tells you about charge stone cave. You can push rocks around. Yeah. I can get into encounters before I push rocks around. Oh, hello. Darmanitan. Oh, hello, sir. That boy is dangerous. I could have had a fucking Darmanitan. Also, yeah. And um, you got a Schmeargle. Yeah, shit. God, its face is... Who the fuck do I go to right now? That motherfucker can end lives. <laughs> yeah, I'm well aware. I don't want to stay in because I don't know if I'll get away. <laughs> this is real bad, Ian. I don't know if it knows any fighting moves yet. I hope not. I just hope I'm not taking, like, a flare blitz or something here. Oh, no, he's just going to make himself more dangerous. No yeah. big deal. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aware. Thank you. Work, 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 yeah. work, work. work. Ian, do you have a polka doll? No. You sure you don't want to double check that? Mm. That's a plus two fire punch. Yeah. With the sheer force boost. Yeah, I'm aware of what that was, Nathan. Poke toy. That, Maybe having one of those on you isn't a bad idea. That was almost bad, but we're fine. Shut up. What if that was this uh, cave's uh, uh, Zubats? Well, I don't think Zubats showed up in this cave normally, but... You know uh, what I, I guess mean. Used to mean. Yeah. So, what is my fastest and best answer to that? Yeah, as long as Prep Nerdly gets the hurt off, you're you're probably good just leading with an earthquake through this cave. Actually, I do think I'm gonna go ahead and and I will just uh, Fox in a Box was my fastest mod, so I guess you have to go that way. Yes, because they're attracted to the big rocks. It's a puzzle, you see. I've never used a Darmanitan. Uh, they are good. Those motherfuckers will end lives. I used one in my first playthrough of, uh, I believe... I believe I had white. But yeah, no. They will kill a bitch. I've used some on uh, a mono fire team uh, in competitive, and uh, it was real fun. I bet. Hello? Ma'am?
Nate. Yep. Hey, do you think that's an electric guitar? I get it. I'm sick and tired of fighting Molga. Just gonna say it. Welcome to your Nova. <laughs> yeah, I know. Kinda did a lot. I am Fox in a box. He doesn't necessarily have a huge defense. Oh, that was acrobatics, that's why. Yeah. Oh, and some of your Pokemon are a little under level, too. Yeah. I'm going to try to rectify that situation going into the next stream. Yeah. But, say, so right now, the, the plan is let's get through, uh... Bye. Oh no. There's an item to you right there. Watch out, Ian. Its stab would be super effective. It would also put its, tr its trophy right there. If it had one! I think in this gen it can no bug bite. I think Probably. only through breeding, though. Uh, I think it's you have to get a Caterpie up to level 15 and then evolve it. Oh, okay. Um, so a wild Metapod would not have any level up move beyond Heart. Oh, hello. Hello, ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, shit. Um, why isn't uh, Choice Gorilla Tactics Darmanitan more viable? Uh, it's not used very much because it is banned in OU. Ah, it was like banned real quick. It's not vi uh, It's not uh, viable because because yeah. they said no. Um, in I don't know if it's used any in VGC or not. Darmanitan for a while. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't keep up with it as much as I should. Um, I think right now the VGC format has like a like a one restricted Pokemon Bullshit. allowed per team. Bullshit. Oh, it survived a pedal dance. Yeah, it is my loader. They're bad. Yeah, but it survived it like one. Yeah, that happens. My Lodics can be really hard to get rid of. Well, that one you recover. Um, if, if it were a viable Pokemon, I would say it's probably most viable in Battle Stadium singles or something like that. Aww. If you're looking for an official format for it. This cave is full of great Pokemon, and you got a Smeargle. Yeah, I did. But Ian, it's going to resist that because it's fairy. Is it? This is really important. I get it. Okay. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. Do and it another again. one. Do it again. And another one. Wow. Rolls, please stop fucking me. It's fine. Really wants you to hit him. Thank you, Rusty. <laughs> Good 
gosh, literally everybody is playing Final Fantasy fourteen. Now do we do I finally get to meet her in person? Final Fantasy fourteen? Sure. Yeah, the uh, um, the Final Fantasy MMO. I just got a pop up saying that somebody is playing it right now. Ah. A lot of my friends are playing uh, Apex, but that's just because uh, the new season and a new uh, character dropped on it. Literally yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the games that I have been playing keep dropping all their updates at roughly the same time. I hear that's, that's one really of them good problems. If you're three prize Pokemon. Also, I heard destructive. Don't tell me you're gonna explode. Oh. Oh, fuck off. It's a triple battle! Fuck off! You know what I want you to do? I want you to fuck off. Oh, they're all level 33, too. Yeah, I noticed that. Okay. Uh -oh. Goodbye. It's not that bad. Preb Nertley used Earthquake. No, he didn't. Oh, that would hurt Forgug, too, wouldn't it? That would hurt Forgug and... Who is out right now? What are my Pokemon that are out? Forgug, Debongles, and Prep Nertly. Is Prep Nertly out? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Well, I hope you don't get hit by that earthquake on your prep nerdly. You mean the dig? I don't think dig can uh, target a uh, Pokemon that far away. Yeah, it's going to hit. Ooh, there's your power gem. Oh, yes, I fucking will. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I just want to go with rock slider, don't I? I think so. Okay. So is power gem just like a, a really bad booger? Like he sneezes it. <laughs> Poor guy just like he like closes off one of his nostrils and just huffs the huffs the gym out. Mm. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, but I need to kill this. Uh... I need to kill the Sand Slash. Yeah, you do. I'm glad that he, uh, you know, sharply raised his speed right after being uh, paralyzed. paralyzed. Anticipation that you uh, get it off before it goes underground. Yeah. Because I think. Think. God damn it. Is Sand Slash good? No. Um, it's good at what it does. Um, Are you fucking kidding me? RNG, will you at least buy me dinner before you keep fucking me? God damn! <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, this is 
big brain here. So I know he's faster. So I'm literally going to use his turn to heal uh, to heal the bongles so that when you take this dig would that want to take this dig here the bongles is fine okay cool whatever don't crit dope and now I know that he, I get the nightshade off did I you click the middle tile, I think, which randomly picks between the two. Oh. I was almost... I was almost so fucking big-brained there. There's I, nothing he can do. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. When you get into a situation like this, the Pokemon on the left just kind of sits there and twiddles their fingers. Yeah. That's why rotator battles are good. Well, that's why rotator battles exist. I was almost smart there. If memory serves, and I may be misremembering, there's like a ace trainer on every route from here on out that does a triple battle. It's been a while since I've played this game, so don't quote me on that. But. Overall, not bad for a surprise triple battle where you are at the that level disadvantage. I'm proud of you. Really, really, the the level disadvantage did cause me a lot of problems there, but that's okay. I agree, there were instances where you kind of got lucky. And you probably should have swapped to Milady at some point on that right-hand side just yeah, to yeah. take some of those ground moves that it wouldn't have cared about. But, yeah. overall, a W is a W. Good job. You're put in a stressful situation, you handle it well. I don't know why that's there. Maybe it might just be there just to... for you to fuck around with the mechanic. I really don't know. Is there like a doctor in here? I think that's it there. That double veil? I think the guy on the right is a doctor. Hold on. Gonna kill a Jellicent real quick. Do you? Yeah, I'm gonna kill a Jellicent real quick. This might be a two shot, just because I'm going off of attack. Yeah, yeah you're using your lower attack, and Jellicent is fat. Oh no! It's more specially fat, uh, but it has a high HP stat, so. Okay. No, it's taking damage from a sticky barb. Uh, uh, Ian has set it so that uh, wild Pokemon can hold random items. Yes. And you saw that there. That's also why, like, if you uh, if you saw in my uh, items earlier, I've got an eject button. I mean, I'll take it. This is not what I was hoping this was, but I'll take it. It's Nugget Man and Nugget Boy. You know, the beloved NPCs. You can't he said, call one Nugget Boy. <laughs> he said Nugget about it, because he's in New York! Rusty, I hate to say it, but he called himself Nugget Boy. <laughs> oh no, Gulpin. the fearsome Gulpin. 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 I love Gulpin. Like, I love his design. Like, it's so good. Um, the thing that did Gulpin the the most is uh, Gale of Darkness. Gale of Darkness Gulpin is peak design. You will never get better than Gale of Darkness this Gulpin. You can find Shining Ores in the Fun Fest mission. Oh. oh. Help, help remind me after this battle to save. Hey, Ian. After this battle, save the game. 
No, no, I deserve that. The joke is, every time someone in my life asks me to help, you know, remember something, that m the thing I immediately say is, hey, don't forget X. And Nathan, Nathan and my mom have just learned to accept that. And my justification is, if we have this stupid-ass conversation, hopefully uh, that'll stick out in your brain. I'm not sure it works, but... Uh, how about this? Save the game. Thanks. Take, take this. this! Hey kid, if you take this, you won't fall asleep. It's all natural, I promise. <laughs> it's not incorrect. I'm in the wrong place here. I'm just saying, a random person, you know, saying a ranger, which means that they've got some amount of authority, giving a, giving a child a, a stimulant to help keep them awake. Never heard of that one before. It's okay, you met him in a cave. Yeah, yeah, the nice ranger in a cave gave me this to not fall asleep. It was very thoughtful of. I had to beat him in a fight first. Oh, what the shuck. Oh, shuck off. Ian, don't fuckle. <laughs> Thank you. Don't fuckle it up. Knowing me. I didn't go north here. Let's go that way. There's the doctor. I knew it was somewhere. I, I, I could have sworn that there was a doctor in here, at least in the Is there a doctor in the house? Buckle. Don't. <laughs> so Rusty's really, really enjoying <laughs> being able to make commands. It's the thing he does. I'm gonna get tired of it someday, but it won't be this day. <laughs> but not today. I get it. The doctor's got the cell Pokemon. I'm gonna yell at it real good. You know, I also yell at my cells. Get your life together! Those two are version exclusives. It's showing off both of them. I don't... I don't know what, uh... What it says about the... The doctor that he's got a goth, but... Sight. Kit. Like a med kit. I get it. Thank you. If nothing else, I kind of wanted the the PP refill on us. I was say, we're running out of PP. Might have been the biggest thing there. This is a weird cave. Even after you like, you notice the floating rocks. This person. That's what you do when you're on science. <laughs> this is this is your brain F on science. <laughs> One of my favorite Pokemon introduced in this generation. Jo Joltik is very adorable. It's mm. even uh, supposed to be in this cave. It is. I was. I kind of hope that we get a that we get a Joltik in this playthrough. In any playthrough, Joltik is great. Ah. Bullshit. 
Bug electric is a really fun uh, type combo. So you use an X special. Well, good job suppressing my ability. <laughs> it was. It was suppressed. Yeah, he called you. Yeah. No, no, he, he stopped my ability from happening. That sure is what happened there. We're just gonna go into fork. Okay. Fork up. And we're gonna get to see the... <sighs> well, I find that very confusing. We're gonna see the new move, hopefully. Toad's gonna do it. Hey, would you look at that? Oh, Ian, you hurt yourself in confusion. Ah, it's a shock. The move you have, you have. Swift? Alright, buddy. Bonk. Two. Again, this is the perfect Pokemon for you. It barely damages itself in confusion. It's perfect. Your destined starter. Thanks, Nate. Can't be poisoned. Yeah, it's great. Is a rock type, so you know it'll miss. <laughs> I'm saying, the only Pokemon I can think of that would hurt itself less in confusion is something like Shuckle. You know, Chansey or something. It's Bianca! Do you give it to me now? It's awful forward. Fuck you. <laughs> Hey, Rusty! My boy! This is the coolest cave ever. <laughs> so, of all of the Pokemon that we could have gotten in this cave... Uh, to be fair, I think each floor is a different encounter table. Can I leave now? <sighs> I just want to leave. Beat Mary. And her turtle! Another very good Vaughn. I do like me and some Caracosta line. I have not actually... I have not used Joltik, I have not used Caracosta, but I want to. I mostly want to use Caracosta because of his run. I do like me some Caracosta. Um, you can go... Ch oh no, use water move on my ground type. Psych! I used one in my uh, white ice stock photo run, if you feel like reading through that. Yeah. Is that linked down below? Nah. You should link it down below if it's not. Or what Rusty. What am I thinking? Uh, Rusty can, might be able to throw together a command for uh, uh, his uh, Nuzlocke forum runs. Do I care about Tor? No. Not really. We're tormented. Uh, we have a Nuzlocke rules uh, link. Yeah. It's nothing immediate. Yeah. No, that's that's the Nuzlocke rules. I'm talking about ooh, Magmar. Um, I'm talking about to his actual Nathan specific runs. If he yeah. wants to give me a link to them, I'll. I'll make I can. It, you probably won't do it right now, because Nathan's lazy. That's me. <laughs> you like that one guy at the Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. Magic. Whatever it was. Bonk! <laughs> you like that one guy at the Hearthstone tournaments. What are you talking about? Have you not seen that guy who, like, does the, the prayer hands in front of everybody's butt? 
Oh. Okay, you mean the guy that got banned from a ton of tournaments for doing that? <laughs> yeah, that guy. Rightfully so. I still support the man. Also, I don't take another flame burst there, so... You know, the Aster of Mass himself. <laughs> it's time to stop. <laughs> just... I just want... Once. Once for one of my Pokemon to get... God damn it! <laughs> You just got a little bit of health left, Ian. You can do it. I'm gonna have to put luck on a shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and eight? Yeah, you're gonna hit him. No. And by him, I mean yourself. <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck all kinds of off. Watch him fucking big brain me here and uh, call out the confuser, eh? This Magmar fucking almost killed half, half my team. But he didn't. Maybe worth it to go back and heal. <laughs> With the doctor. Yeah, I know. And then you come back out and fight another Magmar? No. I fight. Monkey! Monkey. Or you run away, whatever. I'm running away. So who do you think is going to win, Godzilla or Big Monkey? Well, you see... One is a giant radioactive monster that can shoot laser beams of pure radiation, and the other's a really big monkey. Well, so, to be fair, they did, in the, uh, uh, um, Skull Island, the Kong Skull Island movie. Which I haven't seen. Um, I haven't seen it either, but I do know that they did preface the fact that Godzilla was no, or that uh, King Kong was nowhere near the size of Godzilla in that movie by saying that he is still growing. Ah. In that movie, they th they they had the little they had the little throw in there. Yeah. Um. But he's like a really big monkey, and I have a sneaking suspicion that uh. Godzilla versus King Kong uh, won't actually end with one of them killing the other. I have a sneaking suspicion about that. What I'm saying is I think they're going to pull a Batman v Superman. No, no. Godzilla. Oh, and they're going to bond over their mother's name being Martha. <laughs> No, Godzilla v. Kong is going to end with them both settling out of court. I wanted to make the Martha joke. That's, that's no, all no, that, no, that's no, all that setup was. No, that's oh, thank God. I this is going to be a fight on the outside. That I'm not going to post in the chat because it's awful but it awful. is pretty terrible i'll look at it in a few minutes and speaking of things that are pretty terrible uh <laughs> watch what you say go ahead i was just gonna say uh run. <laughs> this this cave is over uh <laughs> and that's probably as as good a stopping point for us as any uh, please join us tomorrow, tomorrow. Uh, where we will be streaming on Rusty's end. 
So instead of hearing Rusty's disembodied voice in our faces, you get to see Rusty's face in our disembodied voices, where he will be playing Pokemon Shield in his mono ghost run. Yeah, there's actually only, like, enough for, like, a shared body. We have to we have to switch yeah, off. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, eh. The whole thing. Yeah. A wizard did it. It's this. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um... And then on Friday, I think is going to be the first day of... No, we are going to leave Friday alone for now. Okay. Tantalizingly open, perhaps, yeah. but we'll see. Uh, we are definitely, however, going to be back on Sunday for uh, uh, Monster Hunter, assuming nothing gets interrupted there. Yep. Also, I, I updated our schedule, so that should be true going forward. Yep. Um, so if you forget all of that, uh, you look, can just look it up, uh, just right If below. you're watching live. Yeah. If, if you're watching you're on the VOD in 20 years, then. Then you I don't, don't care what our life schedule is. No, yeah. you really don't. All Good right. luck, uh, avoiding finals or whatever you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, d uh, yeah. Good luck avoiding finals. You know, be nice to people. Yes. Um, unless they're like. I hope you find water in the wastes of, uh. Uh, Midland, Kentucky, wherever you are. Midland, Kentucky. I like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Grand Kentucky Desert. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, bye and, you know, be nice and all of that bullshit. Goodbye.